subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Welcome to the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 versus the Note 5 speed test. You can see we have Android 8.1.0 Oreo on the left, Samsung Experience version 9.5. And over here we just have Android 7.0 for this device. They're showcasing what they're running, Snapdragon 845, 2.8 gigahertz, and this has eight gigabytes of RAM, as you can see, total RAM available right there. This has the Samsung Exynos Octa-Core, 7420 clocked in at 2.1 gigahertz, and this has four gigabytes of RAM, as you can see, total RAM available right there. Okay, so I quickly wanna test the fingerprint speed. You can see the Note 5 had that fingerprint on the front. The Note 9 actually has that on the rear. Let's see which one is actually quicker though. Three, two, one. You could see that's the Note 9. Let's do that again, three, two, and one. You could see the Note 9 slightly, and one more time, three, two, one. So the Note 9 slightly faster, but the Note 5 is still respectable for being a 2015 smartphone. Okay guys, so one thing I wanna mention really quickly is that the general scrolling actually feels a lot smoother for the Note 9. It's just a little bit slower to respond, as you can see right here in this example on the Galaxy Note 5. So the Note 9, that's a general update you're definitely gonna notice right off the bat if you do upgrade. Everything is closed out on both devices. And let's begin with calendar three, two, one. And you can see the Note 9 with the clear win coming home. Let's go into the clock. You can see it's the Note 9 jumping again. Both of them are on 1X animations. Let's go into calculator and you can see the Note 9 faster again. What about settings? And again, it's the Note 9. Now I expect the Note 9 to win just about every test here, and that's what we wanna see. And the Note 9 definitely loads that faster. Not too much faster though. And the Note 5 still respectable here though against the Note 9 so far, at least in some of these more basic applications. So Note 5 doing well, but the Note 9 does have that slight lead. Let's go into the Twitter. If I wouldn't click it on accident, let's go into the Twitter one more time. Three, two, one. And you could see that was pretty close, but the Note 9 definitely won that one slightly again. Now this seems like it's not really a big difference, but in the real world, when you're opening a multiple applications, you're multitasking, those slight seconds all add up to a much faster feeling phone. Let's go into WhatsApp. You can see that the Galaxy Note 9 is the win again. Let's head over into YouTube now, three, two, one. And the Galaxy Note 9 slightly, let's go into trending. And you could see right here, very good YouTube performance on both. However, it looks like the Note, 9, uh, Note 5 choked up a little bit there. So definitely I like YouTube on either one of these. They both have beautiful displays. This has your standard, the way a video was meant to be seen display in the 16 by nine. This has a large, beautiful 6.4 inch screen. So both are great in that regard. Let's go into Netflix and you could see Netflix is first on the left. And let's hit no thanks here on the right, the Note five so i think they're both doing respectably well here in terms of opening these applications and for those people saying that older samsung phones slow down well the note 5 definitely wasn't one of them it's pretty fast it just doesn't feel as fast as a note 9 ebay but i haven't experienced like massive lag or anything like that the only time i experience lag on the note 5 is when it's first booting up it needs to warm up and once it's been warmed up what i mean by that is been on for a couple of seconds and things update then it's fine. So what about Jetpack Joyride, three, two, one? And you could see Jetpack Joyride does open first on the left and then on the right. So here's an area where the Note 9 definitely is a shiner over the Galaxy Note 5, and that's gaming because gaming is not only faster to load things, it's also faster or better on the cooling. So the Note 5 gets way hotter than the Note 9 when it comes to gaming. So gamers will love to upgrade from the Note 5 to the Note 9, they'll love that more cool feeling phone. Regardless of those reports you've been hearing about the Note 9, some woman's Note 9 caught fire, that's an isolated case. Until we hear more, I'm not gonna be running no videos on that one. So, so far I've had no issues with the cooling on the Note 9 and it looked like Slither was a little bit faster for the left. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2. And you can see Dead Trigger 2 has the jump on the left. So. You can see right there, this is what you wanna see. You wanna see your Samsung phone make improvements. If you're gonna be paying $1,000 for this phone, you wanna see these improvements in the Note 9, definitely much better in the gaming area. Let's go into Video Shop and you could see pretty close there. You call that one down below. What about Geekbench? You can see that is the left for the Note 9. Let's go into Antutu Benchmark 
And you can see Antutu benchmark does open first on the left, just slightly. And then speed test. And you can see speed test was a win on the left. And let's go into Samsung internet here. And you can see that that's the left again. So again, it's just like a minimal, like fraction of a second difference on each app. But when you add all those up together, the Note 9 just feels faster to run on the day to day. Now let's quickly go back through them backwards just to see if we can get any reloads on either and you can see speed test good to go on both and tutu benchmark good to go i'm expecting the note 5 to reload with that four gigs of ram but so far it's holding its own you can see it even has that open let's go into slither even has that open so good stuff so far i'm pretty impressed with the note 5 right now so far and jetpack joyride and no reloads there again for either i mean the note the note 9 we expect no reloads at all but are we going to get any on the Note 5? And it doesn't look like it's so far Amazon. And let's head over into the next one, Netflix. And still, even with 4 gigs of RAM, this thing still hasn't reloaded. This is crazy. Let's go into the WhatsApp. And that probably is due to, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, it's that Exynos. That's why. And there we go. We got a slight reload there on Snapchat. I knew it was going to happen eventually. And here it goes again on Twitter. So after about eight or so apps, the Note 5 starts to choke up in the RAM management. But on the whole, I don't know how many people are gonna be running more than eight to 10 apps. So still pretty good performance there. I hit the wrong one there. Pretty good performance there still on the Note 5. Let's go into clock and let's go into calendar. And you could see the Note 5 reloaded that. So overall, they both have stellar performance, but the Note 5 is an upgrade to the Note 9 if you do want better RAM management. Okay, guys, so I'm here in the Samsung Internet Browser. We're going to just open up a couple of tabs here to see how they perform. Let's go into Facebook 3, 2, 1 and see which one is quicker. And that is the Galaxy Note 9. Okay, so open up another tab. Let's go into the hotels.com here in 3, 2, 1 and see which one gets there first. And that is pretty close i think the note 9 just barely jumped ahead but pretty close there so web browsing really hasn't changed much in terms of performance one more let's do amazon three two one and see how which one gets there first and again pretty close i think the note 9 was very very slightly faster but man this is pretty close so good web browsing experience on either samsung browser for either one of these phones okay so i'm gonna quickly test the wi-fi speed on the note 9 and the note 5 beginning with the note 9 i'll speed it up and we'll come back when the results are in for the note 9. okay so the results are in and you can see the note 9 gets a 179 on the down and 10.7 on the up let's test the note 5 now same wi-fi network to see if there's any differences here all right so the note 5's final results are in and you can see a drastic improvement on the Note 9 and the download speeds, but on the upload speeds, the Note 5 actually did better and they're not too much different there for the upload. But I have found the Note 9 on LTE and mobile data to be quicker to load stuff than the Note 5. So take that for what it's worth. Okay, so here we are with a video render test. Let's go ahead and render these out. This is a one minute clip shot at 1080p and we're gonna see which one does better here. So let's go ahead and put this in 60 FPS and put this guy and 60 FPS as well. And we're gonna go ahead and save this to the gallery, see which one can render first. Three, two, one. And let's see if you get a massive improvement for the Note 9 in the rendering department. And yes, it's way ahead of the Note 5. And you can see, boom, the Galaxy Note 9 is done. So if you're doing video editing on your Note, this is definitely a huge, huge update when it comes to the time it's gonna to take to render out a video. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and test out the camera from the quick launch, three, two, one. And you can see pretty close. That was actually quite hard to see. Let me know what you thought down below. But now let's go ahead and just test it from the application, three, two, one. And you can see the Note 5 is actually faster to open that camera from the application. And it does it pretty much every time. Now people have been reporting that the Note 9 is freezing in between shots. And I can confirm this has happened to me a couple of times. I didn't think it would keep happening, but it happened a couple of times. So Samsung really needs to push an update to improve the camera launch time for the Note 9 and to fix that freezing that's happening in between the shots for some users. I'm not saying it's happening to all users, but I have been experiencing it myself. So the Note 5 right now, faster to open a camera, but does it take pictures faster is the question. And it looks like, yes, it looks like it's about the same, if not faster than the Note nine let's go ahead and hold down 
You can see they both burst very quickly. The Note 9 definitely bursts faster, but the Note 5 is still respectable in the camera speed and opening. So the final Geekbench scores are in and rest in peace, Note 5. It's a slaughter fest here. The Note 9 just destroys you here when it comes to the Geekbench scores. Okay, so we're here at the N22 benchmark and you could see the massive difference here 279,890 points here 72,785 this defeated 87 percent of users in the cpu and 97 percent of users in the gpu the note 5 only defeats 24 percent of users in the cpu and 13 percent of users in the gpu so then 22 benchmark does a lot more hardcore testing than i feel like geekbench does so this really showcases that the note 9 is a massive leap here in performance so in conclusion the galaxy note 5 while it did a pretty good job here the galaxy note 9 is a clear winner here i mean this is like two generations newer phone here the note 7 went away we all know what happened with that but the galaxy note 8 was also a nice improvement over the note 5 but if you hold held off on both of those phones the note 9 actually brings everything that you probably would want in an upgrade from the note 5 anyway that's it here for me if you guys found this video helpful entertaining informing enjoying do me a favor click that like button for me if you have any questions comments concerns or you want to see a full comparison on these